Hey guys, Sultan here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. I guess it's time to get some side questing done since I got some work done on the silver bar. I put pretty much all of the silver blocks and the iron blocks where they go as well as the ladders which kind of helped me reach some of the places and a lot of the stuff that we have left is the little decorations and stuff but i figured that um some of the questing will bring me to that even especially because there's a few things that i can't build like the golden braziers for instance and the light blocks i do have the stuff for the tables and the seating and all that except for i don't know if the seating that's what are these things right here let's see the deck chairs. I don't know if I have those yet. But at any rate, even if I even if I do, I'm gonna go ahead and start the side questing here. <laughs> Always good to see your smiling face, Zuljan. That grin of yours never seems to fade. So perhaps you're the perfect person to help me out with something. I want everyone around here to smile a bit more no matter how hard life in mining town can be. If we had a card table near the pool, it might be <laughs> wait, it might be a nice little morale booster. Those fellas love their games, especially when they're playing for stakes. If already sketched out on your blueprint, right? Just put a couple of stone stools around a stone table and pick a pack of playing cards on top. And Bob's your uncle. Things can get pretty heated when the lads play cards, so you better reinforce the floor with some heavy-duty iron blocks so that it can withstand a sore loser's stomps. So you see, that's what I'm talking about. I knew that some of the quests would kind of end up putting dialogue down. And we do have some of this stuff, so... Let's see here. We'll add the table. We got some of these. We got some stools. And we made some cards a little while back when I had the opportunity and I saw that they were available. Alright. So, where exactly are the card tables? Let's see here. The... Oh, I made a cocktail. Well, I think I made a cocktail too. I made something. <laughs> something new. I'll show you guys. Okay, so the card table seems to be on the left here. And it looks like it's not the first, not the second, but the third row all the way at the end. So right here is where it starts. So we'll put boom. Uh, actually, no. Is it? It looks like it. Not the first, not the second, but the third row up. Maybe it's one more over? Ah, that's it. Well, so I was one off. <laughs> no biggie. Alright, now it's done. So the quest should complete. The improvements to the bar make the miners more motivated. Now they'll mine more metal. I was one off, man. Alright, so we got that quest done. Where's Where's my buddy at? Thanks, Zuljin. When the miners see it, I'm not sure... I'm sure that they'll be grinning from ear to ear. Not that you can ever see their faces and find out. <laughs> they're always wearing a stupid mask. There's one way of telling whether they're enjoying themselves, though. The more townsfolk like what you've done with building, the more gratitude they'll give you. Everyone needs to smile after a stressful day. Just look at Babs and how hard she works. I don't know how she does it. Not only has she got her dad and his pub to worry about... She, <laughs> But she put on that rabbit suit to keep the miners contented. And to top it off, she fights the monsters as well. But don't get your wires crossed. It's not like I like her. I don't like her. I just really, really like her. Babs is my angel, my light in the darkness. So if you're thinking of having her all to yourself, you could get it right out of it. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. The jealousy is running rampant in this town. Thank you very much for the hearts, my friend. Okay. So, Jane, if I ask you a serious question, will you give me an honest answer? Does Babs look unhappy to you? Like she put, like she's put an about or something? You what? You reckon that place must be paradise for an intelligent girl like her being chased around by a load of hard fighting, farting me meatheads? Wait, you ain't being sarcastic, are you? <laughs> I never can tell when you're winding me up. Anyway, she looks upset to me. She must be all sand around her and stuff gets everywhere. That's where you come in. I need you to put together a shower room so Babs can tell all that scratchy sand absolutely do one. If Babs is going to shower in style, the walls got to be made of silver brick blocks. As for the location, somewhere by the silver board might be a good spot. Then you just got to fill it with a shower and a folding screen and a towel rail. Plop them all inside and you're done. So I'm going to have to make some new recipes out here. A nozzle that shoots out a stream of water when someone approaches. I got a shower now. Alright, that was about the only thing that I uh, didn't have. So, 
Let's see here. If we can go to... Yeah, you see these cactails? I'll need these. You need the gladius seeds, the vine apples, and the prickly pops. And I, the, the prickly pops you can make just from brewing uh, one of the cactus ingredients. So that wasn't too hard. Um, okay. There's a shower. All it takes is silver in five silver ingots though. And I think I might need some more silver brick here. Let's do 40 more. So all he said is basically silver brick walls, a shower. Uh, let's do it over here. Is this considered still? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it over here. All right. Um, how big should this thing be, you reckon? Also, thanks for the recommendations about this stuff, guys. I, um, uh, for some reason, I thought since we needed a, a stone hammer to, to break it, that it was going to be pretty hard to break, you know, but I guess not. Anyway, uh, let's start right here. We'll do... That seems like just enough right there. And it, it doesn't have to be real big, you know? All right, we're going to have to change out the floors. What do you guys reckon is a fancy floor? I mean, honestly, we don't have a whole lot of building blocks that give the aesthetic that I'd like. Um, but maybe we could do... Hmm. What is this? Dark Dolomite? Yeah, maybe maybe that'll look cool in it. Since it's already silver, you know? That was the kind of stuff that we got around that, uh, that dye material. So let's put that in here. Oh, it's got that dark granite look. I like it. I like it. All right, let's see if we can finish her up here. Let's do a... We're going to need a door of some sort, too. We'll put a sconce right there. We'll put the towel rack next to it. And then right here, we will put the dressing screen. Oh, actually, let's put it the other way, huh? Okay, dressing screen right there. The shower is going to be just right there. I guess we can put it just like anywhere, huh? You can't place that there. How big is it? Holy crap. Thing is huge. There we go. Shower. Dressing screen. Actually, let's move. Let's move this uh, this towel rack. We'll put the dressing screen right here now, so it'll actually fit. There we go, and we'll put the towel rack like right here when you walk in. That'll work. So all we need now is a door and place. There we go. Tiny shower room. <laughs> I woke everybody up now. Wait up, dude. <laughs> Thanks for building a shower room for Babs, Zuljan. Ever since she was little, the girls held a special place in all our hearts. Whenever we were feeling down, she'd pick us up. Whenever she was about to do something stupid, wait, whenever we was about to do something stupid, she'd set back on us right on the right path. Now look at her. She's doing her best to make sure we are all fed, cheering us all on. She's always putting others above herself. That girl means more to us than the amount of gold than any amount of gold will. We'll protect her with our dying breath. You better remember that, Zuljan. You're a proper mate, but you're also our biggest rival. <laughs> and none of us give Babs up without a fight. By the way, it ain't just Babs who's going to use the shower room. Me and the boys like a wash every once in a while, too, you know. So I better not catch you peeking. Oh, gosh. Don't worry, bro. Don't worry, bro. <laughs> Babs! Hello, Zuljan. How's the building working? Coming along nice and smoothly, I hope. Which is more than I could say for my signature pub grub. I just can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. I want to try as many different ingredients as possible so I could come up with the perfect crumbled in dish. But them bonfires ain't up to the job. If I had a frying pan, I could cook stuff together and maybe make a breakthrough. Could you make me one? Yeah, sure. 
Once you made it, just to whack it on top of the one of the bonfires in the mushroom cook room, then I can start working on my recipes. All right, I should come up with a recipe here. A cast iron skillet suitable for the discerning the discerning chef. All right. So the shower room is good. Can I can I can I use it? <laughs> I have a towel on, boys. It's fine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's kind of neat. All right, it's bedtime for everybody. That's why. Uh, but I like it when it's quiet like this at night. It gives me gives me the strength to build here. Let's um let's do a little bit of a frying pan. Here we go. We have the stuff for it. It's only iron ingots and wood. And then all we have to do is plop this down in the mushroom cook room on one of the bonfires after I collect some of the stuff that I was cooking earlier. We're going to wake everybody up again, I think. All right. And fiery frying pan. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sucker came up high. Just like a frying pan on top of me bonfire, just like I asked. Now I can cook two ingredients together. Ooh. Now then, Zuljin, there's a recipe I've been just dying to give a whirl. Mind helping me find the ingredients? We'll need some mushrooms and a succulent slabs of meat. Them unicorns seem to be hopping around the desert. Oh, we could do that. Actually, the recipe is so simple, you could even whip it up for me. Just make mushroom and some meat in a frying pan, and I'll give it a sizzle. All right. Frying a pan on top of the bonfire, you'll be able to cook two ingredients together. People were asking about this earlier. Um, and it's it's actually pretty simple, you know, um, that you'd need something else. The Anytime that you ever went to a fire, for instance, and, uh, and tried to put two ingredients on it, it wouldn't let you. It would say you can't place it, can't place this here. Okay, so we have mushrooms. Where are they? Don't tell me I cooked them all. I sure had. I had to go get some <laughs> in the mines. Okay, I've got mushrooms here. We'll place that. And you see how it has two slots available now? Now I can cook it up. There we go. And we've got some interesting ingredients over here that I messed around with. Here is one of those, um, uh, what do you call these things? The prickly pops that you need for the cocktails. And to make those are really, really easy. Uh, all you need to do is take one of the prickly peaches and you place that just like that and I think all we needed was three but I'll make one more all right I forgot exactly what they do most of the other ingredients that I've been finding like these for instance make like the second tier of stuff you'll see like they'll have one star on top of it so we'll have the fruit flambe for instance and then the fine fruit flambe then the delicious digger jigger meaning that they'll just give me uh, better stats i suppose all right let's collect this now that's the the turf and truff i thought something smelled good that's exactly the kind of pub grub i had in mind can i have a closer look at it yeah Turf and truff, you call it. It looks like bleeding scrumptious. The lads are gonna love it. I just hope it's uh, it hits the spot after a hard day's digging or dealing out the drinks in my dad's case. All that hard work must really take it out of him. Hey, you reckon it's nice to me? It's nice of me to put everyone health first. Don't get me wrong, Zuljin. This ain't just food. It's fuel. The more good grub they get down them, the more metal they'll be able to mine. Anyway, thanks for helping with my dish. If I start practicing the <laughs> recipe right away, I'll be able to make it all by myself in no time. Food ain't just fulfilling my empty stomach, you know. It can have other benefits besides. So you expand your palate. You might be surprised by what you find. Absolutely. So we could try a few dishes here. Um, let's see. We'll, we'll place this for sure because I want to see what this gives. We'll cook it, but we'll try a few other recipes. It should be interesting to see. We'll continue with the side quest, too. Good job getting those new miners on board, Zuljan. Now we could get a big step forward in the search for more silver. You see, a single seam of silver won't be enough. You think you could find three more seams? I'm sure there must be more down there. All right, lads, you heard the Magrog. Time to get working, Zuljan. 
we'll be waiting for you in the tunnels. Come find us when you're ready. Zuljin? I heard you was going off in search of more silver, so I put together a little packed lunch for you. Oh, yeah, we got the turf and truff. And Magrog just lost his mind. <laughs> I ain't quite perfected the recipe yet. This was the only edible looking one I managed to make. Still, it'll help keep her strength up. Look, look how sick he is with himself. That's not fair. Since you've been here, you're a favorite. Get out of my sight, Zuljin. Find Dougie and lead the lads a few more veins of silver. Dougie said he'd be watching out for you for the old, at the old lift. I recommend warping there if you can. All right, we got a new destination. <laughs> So we can we can eat this right away now. Uh, let's see here. Um, this is the spectacular shroom on a stick. That's not what I'm looking for. I am looking for this right here. Turf and truff restores fullness by 45 percent, 15 percent hit points, and it gives me an effect. So let's take that out and put it in the place of I guess that, and we'll go ahead and just use it and see what happens here. Capacity for destruction increases. Okay, so it basically helps me hammer stuff. It looked like the icon was a little hammer anyway, so that's interesting. That's pretty cool. All right, let's grab these. And I guess we're going to go see what's going on with Dougie and them. Uh, let's see where we can warp here. Here we go. The old lift. And we should be able to go right here and talk to Monstrophobia Boy. <laughs> Sultan, you sure took your bleeding time. I thought I told you not to leave me alone in the dark. Bruh, you went ahead, man. Anyway, the way. My lats are quivering tells me that there's silver somewhere behind this wall. Have a quick bash with that sledgehammer of yours and see what you find, right? Okay. Not water. There we go. Alright. Well, I never. It's another bleeding tunnel. You've done a stellar job knocking that old uh, through. If it's a bit of a tight fit uh, for all the silver we'll be bringing back, I'll get to the lads to open it up a bit. Perfect. Oi, get in here, you pathetic plonkers. There's work to be done. Yeah. Knock it out for me, boys. Dang! They tore it up. Look at that. <laughs> That's more like it. I can never stand tight places. All right, lads. Let's get on in there. We should lead it too, Zuljin. If me triceps can't be trusted, there's a bleeding shed load of silver in there. All right. Dougie joined the party. All right. And... Here's some more of those shroom guys. No thanks, man. I don't really want to be poisoned right now. Dang it! Asleep, actually. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. There we go. Alrighty. I'm just going to collect a few of these mushrooms as I go down. Just so we can try a few things. Also, I think all of those vine apples I am out of. So I'll grab some when I'm kind of... Um, kind of moving around just to try them out with the, with the new recipes there we go yeah we should we should be able to combine a few things with that what in the heck is going on over here bruh who goes there I can't vorta anything in among of these tunnels seriously in all this darkness I can't see a thing Boy, what a whack job that's one of the, uh, I remember those. It's like a treat bag. There was some like this, there was some enemies like this in Dragon Warrior. Say you're lost or something? We don't, we get nanty visitors down here? You know hardly any at all? Well, you're here now, so maybe you could do me a big fat favor. What do you say? Yeah, why not? Fantabulous. What a bona young omni you are. I haven't even told you what I want yet. Now then, my little, uh, the three little brothers have gotten lost in these mazy tunnels. The dizzy chickens, could you charper them out? 
They just love to oogle Zushi things, so chances you'll find them near a sparkly seam. I hope that helps in your search. They're only fellies, too young and tender to look after themselves. Please find them. If you're having a hard time vard varding which way they're, you're going, try some of the torches that have gone out. Not only will you be able to see more clearly, but it'll help you mark where you've already been. Two <laughs> lost little lammies get gobbled up down here, darling. Uh, I'm not really worried about that because I have a map. We don't really need the torches to light. All right. Uh, so let's see here. Apparently, we're kind of close to where that lava was. Look at over. Look at over here. Look at there. Look at there. All right. Let's go down here. Is this where we came from? No. This is a good bit different. Let's crack this open. There we go. And we've got a quest here. There's bound to be some stuff that I can't see. Get me out of here. Oh, he's trapped in here. And it looks like there's a seam of silver here. And there he is. We we'll just break this real quick. I should have just popped it with my big strikes. All right, there we go. Whoopee! The sand and oil's <laughs> gone. The sand and soil is gone. I'm saved. One minute I was staring up at that shiny stuff, and the next thing I knew, the ceiling caved in. I thought I was a goner. Hold your horses. Did someone say shiny? Oi, if I'm not mistaken, that's silver. Get over here, you nit <laughs> nitless witnits. <laughs> we come ourselves another seam. All right. Beautiful. Well, and Zuljin, we're making proper good progress finding the seams of silver. Alrighty. That's one of the three that we needed to find. Alrighty. And the rest, I suppose, are going to be at other locations. But they should be marked with a quest when I get close to them. Actually, they, yeah, look. You can see them right here. Find Jules' brothers right there and right there. here all kind of all kind of stuff apparently what are these mushrooms over here kind of weird don't you think oh come on I was exploring well that'll wake you up in the morning anything interesting right here trying to determine why these two things are here Alright, let's help Maurol finish these guys off. Alright. Oh, I could just farm this up. Massive mushroom stems. I guess it's just a thing. Okay, and massive mushroom cap. Alright. Okay, we got another wall blocking our way. And it looks like we have uh, a couple of quest markers. What's this? Visitors? Humans? 
is it? If you don't mind us asking, who are you and what are you doing here? You say you're a builder looking for silver, is it? We've heard of people like you, but not for a long, long time. What's an old bag like you do it out here anyway down here? What's wrong and what's wrong with your voice? Oh, we're sorry. We should explain. We've been down here so long, spent many years alone. We can't remember the last time we used our voice. But you don't you worry for us, dear. Maybe that tells the story later. Maybe not. At the moment, we're more concerned about all the commotion up there. Oh, there's silver. Shiny, shiny, shiny. We go and took ourselves, uh, but some of the mushrooms are missing their caps. And that seems to be the only way up. If you really are a builder, perhaps you could just put a supermassive mushroom caps back on the stalks and rebuild the path? <laughs> could call it stepping shrooms. Oh, I see. Alright, well, there's probably not that many, right? Uh, let's go ahead and... We got a few of them already. We'll grab... There we go. All right. So let's see. We need to... They could fight their own little battle right there. It's fine. Oh, we got parkour for the first time. Dang it. <laughs> okay. So the mushroom caps. Okay. There we go. There's one. Well, the parkour is not that, not that intense. <laughs> All right, and look at that. Also, is th were there any more that they wanted us to fill in? I guess not. Eek, who are you? You haven't come to steal my precious jewels, have you? Well, well, well. So this is the voice was coming with a little goodie bag all along? Nothing for us to worry about. You were worried about me? It's fine. I was just captured by the shiny stuff is all. Captivated. Did he say shiny? Go on, get a load of all that silver. Get in here, you numb noggin ninnies. Pick at the, pick at the ready. And they're getting to work. That's what I like to see. Another seam of silver added to the list. You came all the way from the surface, didn't you? Take us back with it. We want to see the sky. We hope you don't mind and we'll follow you outside. For sure. <laughs> our name is Ordelia, by the way. <laughs> it's our pleasure to meet you. Are you? Do you have multiple personalities, woman? Right then, shall we head up? We follows it home, even if it says no. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, last but not least. So I'm hearing some shimmering. It's very faint. I think it might be coming from down here. Aha! <laughs> it's a Nava Globe. I knew it! I knew I heard some shimmering. Now we can warp here. Cool. Okay, so the only thing left for us to do is go to the very last uh, quest marker. Alright, and we should be just about to it. There we go. Eek, monsters! Look at that, Zul'jin. The monsters are fighting each other. They're, they're doing our job for us. Wait, the, what if that goodie bag is the one of the little brothers we're supposed to find? As much as I'd like the, the show, I think we need to weigh in here, Zul'jin. Come on. Alright, big guy. Actually, dang it. I'm gonna equip my needle. <laughs> Very nice. Now I can equip this again. My needle's great, man. <laughs> Especially for big boys. You helped me, you saved me. I was just staring, staring at the beautiful shiny stuff when those nasty monsters attacked. My sister's looking for me, but I don't have a sister. Are you sure you don't mean my brother? 
<laughs> Hang on, did he say shiny? Up there, Zuljan. <laughs> it's only a bleeding seam of silver. I was too busy quacking in me boots to spot it. Oh, quaking. Oi, get in here, you worthless Wazix. <laughs> Pretty? Uh, we've got some more silver to mine. Alrighty. I'd say things are going pretty well so far, wouldn't you, Zildjian? Fantabulosa. <laughs> you found all my little brothers. Feely chicken. Wait. The feely chickens must have been so scared on their own. I can't thank you enough. Well, we ain't got to go all the way. That's great. I'm sorry about my brothers. They lose all self-control when they <laughs> vart something zushi. You know? When they see something shiny. I have much more... Bona orb for treasure than they do. My eye for valuables is absolutely fantabulosa. Ah, if I had the echo flute, then I could find every last treasure in these tunnels. Uh, whatever you say. Now then, Zuljin, we found the three seams of silver, like Magrog asked. Let's head back to the base and give him the good news. What did he mean about that silver... The, the echo flute? Hmm. I don't think he's going to tell us anything more about that. Oh well. We could go back up to the top. Alright, Magrog. We're back. So you found three more veins of silver, eh? Good work. I'm sure the others have told uh, you one or two of the legends surrounding the mine. The truth is nobody knows what's lying in wait below. Maybe the tales of the underground temples are true. Perhaps you'll even be the one who finds it. But who else is going to do it, Magrog? But we can worry about uh, that later. For now, you should keep an ear out for the miners' next report. I'm sure they'll bring back more silver than before. I'm sure they will. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you all really enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button and show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.